My name is Crystal. I own a luxury travel agency called Wanderlust Jet Setter, and after spending five years living in the Caribbean island of Aruba, my husband and I relocated to Miami. We love spending time with our dogs, but we spend a lot of our time traveling the world. Follow along my entrepreneurial journey for luxe travel content and more. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. We made it to Key West first stop, Boat House Restaurant, dog friendly on the water. This is a key lime colada with Tito's. Phenomenal. All right, so here we are, Hyatt Centric Key West. I haven't figured out the light situation yet, so it's a little dark. Standard King room. Fortunately, they didn't have an upgrade for us. It is a holiday, so obviously forgiven. Pretty spacious. This little balcony out here. So this is the property. We have water over here, a little marina. Have like this little beach area. And here is the pool, little hot tub, and these are the three towers. All right, out here on Thanksgiving night at the Hyatt Centric in Key West is very nice. We just drove down Duval Street. We're not going to really check that out this trip because we have our dogs with us. Um, even though you can do a lot of stuff with your dogs there, but it's definitely something I would want to do more with friends when we come back. Sun is about to set over here. A lot of places in the Keys lack an expansive beach, which is fine because it comes with its own beauty. All these little Ks. Sun's going to set over there. But yeah, this is basically what you're looking at for a beach here at Hyatt Centric. And over there is a um, sun deck. This is where we're going tonight for dinner. It's called Four Flamingos and it is supposed to be really good. <laughs> um, and to take home flamingo martini glasses you can't see them that good here but are we kidding it is just after 7 a.m did miss the sunrise you don't see it fully you don't see the sunset or the sunrise fully here hey aruba i just noticed that sun kind of rises over that way and sets just over that way oh you have to hold it About this hotel Hyatt centric Key West it's not the most lavish oh there's a dog right there hi <laughs> it's not the most lavish it's you know only got like one restaurant you could say on property which is a very good restaurant but the key thing is location here we are two blocks from Duval Street gonna show you guys right now flip the camera right there just before that ship is the start of Duval Street even on this street, there's a ton of stuff and we have a cruise ship in port today, so just a great location. Okay, so here we are, walked not even two minutes. We have Duval, we have all the touristic stuff, the conch tour, train, everything, even a CVS over here if you need something. At the end of every street here is the water and sometimes a beach. And there's just bar and restaurant and shop and it just goes on and on and on. There's also a ton of places to rent these golf carts and scooters. Another thing we've noticed is there's just a lot to do here. So I can come back with my parents and do a lot of historic stuff. I can come back with my friends. There's a ton of water sports, bars, um, drag shows, nightclubs, breweries. Like there's actually a lot to do. Some places we go, you know, there's like a couple things to do, but here I feel like you could really spend some solid time here. Okay, if you're bringing your dog, there's roosters everywhere. Watch out for the roosters. More roosters. Now's a good time to point out that we at Wanderlust Jet Setter do book Virgin Cruises. They are adults only. They are supposed to be really amazing. They often go out of Miami and stop in Key West, and then you are very close to Duval Street when you get off. Another dog. 
and we do get paid commission by Virgin, so it's no extra cost to you to use us to guide you along the way. It's giving Savannah, New Orleans meets the Caribbean. The perfect mix of both, if you could imagine. Have a little bicycle tour going on here. Two of them, actually. So apparently this is the original key lime pie bakery. Is that for here to go? To go. We cured some goods to bring home. And we love how pet friendly it is here. Hey guys. So also just on the opposite side of the Hyatt Centric from Duval Street is just this huge port and there's just a ton of bars and restaurants. We came down this way yesterday for lunch. So you really don't even just walk to everything. Okay, so we're heading out of Key West. We're gonna make a couple stops on the way back to Miami. So if you're driving from Miami, um, you know, flying into that airport rather than the Key West airport because it is very small, not a whole lot of nonstop flights. Don't be afraid to make some stops along the way. So the first place we're gonna go is a marina called Bud and Mary's. What's the name of the guy's channel? Uh, Stan's Farm. Okay, that's Mike's thing. And then we may go into Key Largo for lunch. Uh, Key Largo is another place I really wanna check out and stay over there. Definitely not as poppin' as Key West, but a lot closer to Miami. And there's one of the only adults only all-inclusive resorts there that we send people to at Wanderlust Jet Center. So eventually that's on my list. If there's any other places in the Keys, Southern Florida that you guys want us to go check out and review, let us know. It's pretty easy for us to drive around and get to, and we love doing this type of stuff, so leave a comment below. Okay, we're here at Bud and Mary's. Mike got his merch already, and there's these massive manatees and tarpons. Oh, wow. All three of them. All right, guys, instead of stopping at a restaurant in Key Largo, we just stopped at Publix for a sub because we were both kind of craving a sub. And you know what? It's a little quicker. Um, we've been driving for a while. So at this point, we're just going to get home before the Friday evening traffic starts on all of the highways. And so, yeah, just wrapping up our video here. I hope you guys enjoyed our Hyatt centric Key West. We're definitely going to go back to Key West and do more of the excursions, bar hopping, all that stuff in the future. So keep an eye out for that one. Like and subscribe and we will see you guys in Aruba. Going back to Aruba next week for the first time since we moved almost one year ago. So definitely stay tuned.